Um, so when, when you think about, you know, what you're doing, are you generating media for these things to like understand? Is is a lot of what you're doing like generative? Yeah, in in a way, we use a lot of the same tools that people use for CG and production work in the movie industry, right? What you see when you go see Avengers is really, really high quality synthetic data of aliens fighting, right? It's just <laughs> that we make slightly more boring data. Oh, fascinating. And so the, the whole idea is you create enough generative media that you can feed into an intelligent agent, and then it can try to maximize some fitness function looking at that data. And once the you know, the fitness function is reached to a like certain quality, you kind of like lock in like, hey, here are the weights on the different like, I'm not sure how it all works, but I'm guessing like something like a neuron, something that approximates a neuron, different weights for different neurons. And then like this, this, this intelligent agent is like met our threshold for quality. And now we're going to put it out into the field. Is that generally how it works? Is that the pipeline? That's basically it. You have some test data set or something or some performance benchmark that you want to reach. And then once you kind of get the quality to that, then you ship it and that's that's it, you know, and then you just kind of keep making it better and better over time. 